scrolling through the vast land of the YouTubes, I was surrounded by females in their 20s being overly excited about young adult books and all this other crazy shits and being just caked with makeup and wanting to love everything and everything's fantastic and look I bought books and look at my hauls and tags and I'm I'm doing silly things that yeah <laughs> you know and, and it was ridiculous and all I found were tags and hauls and TBRs and all this other shit looking at the goddamn video and then I had to find somebody hey everyone oh sorry about my lighting today and oh I just moved into a new place and oh I'm going to college you know I I, I was tired of seeing all that shit it's more of just videos for the sake of making videos and not producing any substance. Did this guy just make a 10 minute video saying he wasn't like other girls? This is a damn mess. But when booktube drama happens, I must deliver. But I think I gotta change it up a little cause this whole setup is not stereotypical enough. Hi everyone, sorry about my lighting today. I just moved into a new place and I'm starting college soon. Today, I just wanted to do the booktube newbie tag to introduce myself to the community. Uh, my name is Basic Bitch. I am a new booktuber here and I'm really excited to just be here and meet other girls who are just like me. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? And well, I started this channel because I love to read, obviously. That being said, I actually am physically incapable of reading because sometimes I cake on so much much makeup that all I can see is the vast darkness of my mascara. I have this weird condition where I put on lipstick and then it makes me completely illiterate and just think stupid fucking thoughts. I don't know, I need a doctor. Can anyone help? It's a huge problem, but damn do I look good. Anyway, don't worry because I can still make tags and TBRs and hauls, so we are good to go. The second question is, what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? Absolutely nothing, because these videos are made for my own fun and enjoyment and I'm not obligated to please anybody. And I guess I'll do some reading vlogs too. Question three, what are you most excited for this new channel? I am most excited about showing you guys my bookshelf tour and all of my collector's editions of young adult books. I can't wait to talk about these books and feel myself literally shoving up John Green books up my vagina. It's so much fun. You know, some Sarah J Mass up my Sarah J ass. Hashtag just girly things. Four, why do you love reading? I love reading for the escapism. I just love reading books about hot, glittery vampires and girls with magical powers. It lets me indulge in the fantasy world instead of the real world where men constantly judge and undermine me based on my appearance. What book or series got you into reading? I would say War Cross by Marie Lu. I just love how vapid and trivial it is because it's so clearly wish fulfillment for young girls who want to escape into video game world and meet their love interest. I was just so tired of man books like Ready Player One because they're too complicated and deep for my pea-sized brain. I'm just so glad there's stories like War Cross to indulge my wish fulfillment juvenile fantasies in instead of, you know, adult books like Ready Player One. Ugh, gross. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Oh, there is so many questions that I want to ask, but if I had to narrow them down, I would ask all the big female booktubers out there, how do you cope with being a content creator in the society that constantly undermines women and communities predominated by women? And also, where did you get that lipstick? Because hashtag cute. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I would say filming while I'm on my period. I have a very heavy flow, so it just gets in the way of things. Also, trying to choose the right makeup look for every video thumbnail. Cause I wanna look like a book hoe, but not a book slut, you know what I mean? When did you start reading? I would say the 19th century, because women have historically and systematically been banned from reading since the dawn of time. So for all I know, many of us have been illiterate and not by choice, <laughs> we're so dumb. Where do you like to read? Typically in the privacy of my own home. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I read in public, men will still come come up to me and ask me what I'm reading and then dismiss my answers and then keep on recommending me to read Catcher in the Rye. And I don't know why. So I just figured it's best to stay in my bedroom. And lastly, what kind of books do you like to read? 
I mean, is this even a question? Young adult, duh. I think classics are gross. I would much prefer young adult books because they have so much fun, magical things that don't exist in the real world, like vampires and fairies and women with real motivations. I could list out all the other books I enjoy too, but then again, that wouldn't matter, right? Because it doesn't really matter what I say. I mean, no matter what I choose to indulge in, these things will always be ridiculed if they are predominantly enjoyed by young girls. Whether it's pop music or pumpkin spice lattes or young adult books, these things will always be the most popular topics to make fun of because it's the easiest thing to do. And when you want to seem funny and snarky, but you don't have the capacity to come up with original jokes that actually make commentary of the real world, it's much easier to just trivialize and go for the cheap shots of young girls. These girls aren't harming you in any way because they're just forming their own identity and interests. But it's so much easier to shit on them because society has never cared or will care about the opinions of young girls, be it books, musical tastes, or even our own choices over our bodies. So I can understand the animosity of basic bitches like me. And while those jokes might get you a lot of cheap laughs anywhere else, this community was built and raised by young women who love to read. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going anywhere. Sorry. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with all of the other wonderful booktubers in this community. Bye! I'm not cute enough to remember I've adjusted my perspective Don't wanna be part of your clique But something's got me caught up I won't be made a fool of Won't be the poster girl that you want So what are you after? Don't you like my colors? I'm confident I know it scares ya, scares ya Do I not fake it like the rest? Am I not finding strength in numbers? Cause you know I'm fine here on my own Don't need to make it love my home Will you say that I'm annoying? Well it's not me you're destroying Cause I know who I am And I'm better than that Cause you've got bad taste in people If I'm not one then I'm grateful You're just shooting blanks And you can say that to the bank So what? So what?